Chuck Fresh with another public service video on how to shop online safely. This is really for my mom, but you know, everybody else, if you can pick up a few tips from this, that's great too. You see, I have glasses. You should always trust people with glasses because they're kind of smart. These are real too. I can actually see you. Never mind. Look, most importantly, when you shop online, seriously, shop from people that you know and trust, like Target.com, Walmart.com. BedBathAndBeyond.com. What other dot coms do you shop at, Felicia? Amazon.com, right? Yeah, but we'll talk about them in a minute. They're a whole different behemoth, but they're even becoming more like a flea market today, and we'll tell you why. So these companies, why shop from these companies? Because these companies have spent millions of dollars, literally millions, like hundreds of millions of dollars on their brand and image. So being from corporate America, I understand how all this stuff works. It's this little thing I like to call accountability. Everybody else likes to call it accountability too, right, Felicia? So basically, they don't want to get a bad reputation. So they're less likely to rip you off. And they're actually going to ship you what they said they're going to ship you, just like they promised. Imagine that. Plus, they'll even notify you when something ships or if it's late or if it's out of stock and when you should expect it. They'll take a little bit better care of your payment information so somebody won't rip you off in some crazy hack. I have to deal with that. I'll tell you what, that's no fun. We've done that too. And also, if something goes wrong, they're going to stand behind it and either give you another product or return your money or ship something that's missing at no additional cost to you. So the accountability thing really does mean a lot when you're shopping online or anywhere else for that matter. Now, look. A lot of small business groups, hey, what are you talking about? I ship everything I say. I protect your payments. Blah, 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 blah. Look, I love small businesses. I am a small business. I ship stuff too. But to be honest, whenever I've been ripped off, it's typically by a small business with little to no accountability. Now, I have accountability because you can see me here on this YouTube channel. A lot of people don't have that. They're kind of flying under, oh, just do what I'm going to do. And if I take a few people's money, <laughs> stupid. Look, and always, this is rule number one, no matter what. And this is probably the most important tip of this video. And I'm glad you got to see this one because it is important. I tell my friends, my family, even my enemies this. Always buy food, medicine, and batteries from a big name company. Basically, anything that you put inside of you or keep close to your body should come from a reputable big name company. Why? <laughs> Look, trust me, I have worked for both big companies and small companies. And I'm telling you, the big companies are always going to do a better job looking out for you because of accountability, right? Now, anything you're putting inside you or keeping close to you, like a battery or something, you're going to want that to have a little bit of, uh, you know, responsibility behind it because it matters. If something happens to you, it goes back to the big company. They're going to get sued. They're going to get a bad reputation and they don't want that. So they're going to put a little more time, effort, and care and probably do a better and more responsible job of shipping you and getting you products that are better for you, that won't hurt you, that won't kill you. God, you know what I'm talking about. You know, look, stuff like handbags and toilet paper. I just got a dirty look about handbags. Who cares? Any small name company manufacturer or seller is going to do. Yeah, I did say handbags, but I digress. So, as you already know, you can find just about anything online. And you can find just about anything online on Amazon.com. It's an amazing and super helpful capitalist success. There's really no other way to put it. It's really a banner of freedom, and I'll tell you why. One, you could shop effortlessly. Sellers compete based on price, so they're more likely to be online. If something seems too cheap, there's probably something wrong. And we'll talk about why that's possible in a minute. Two, reviews. People can freely share their honest experiences with this product. If they love it, they'll tell you why they loved it. If they hate it, they'll tell you why they hated it. Love it or leave it. And there are often helpful pictures and even videos describing their experiences or how to use it or some tips and tricks. And you just can't find that level of information in any brick and mortar store. Sure, maybe you walk into somebody who's another customer and happen to buy that thing, but how often does that happen, right? You find this stuff right online, right on Amazon's website. Probably the most brilliant thing they ever did was put reviews next to it. Um, number three, logistics. Now, in some places, you can order from Amazon.com and you can get your stuff the same day, even within hours. That Jeff Bezos guy, he's brilliant. Him and his buddy spent a lot of time and money making distribution faster and cheaper and smarter. And I can't really put my head around how they can send me 
10 different things from 10 different companies and still get everything to my house the next day. It's really mind boggling. And four, competition. If you're looking for anything from t-shirts to TVs to tricycles to thermometers and anything else that begins with T or the rest of the alphabet or more, there are sometimes of like hundreds of equivalent products with their prices, features, and the reviews right there, right in front of you, easy to see, easy to spot, and all that stuff will arrive at your doorstep within a day or two. I never in my life expected to find, I'm a little bit older, so I never expected to find a myriad of choices so easily available. Amazon just nailed it. They, they pulled it off. So people say, well, what about eBay? eBay does the same thing, but look. Now eBay, I, I've, I've been on eBay for about 20 years, man. Coolest thing or I love eBay. But today, in my humble opinion, it's kind of a mess. So why is that? So basically a few years back, all the folks who make all these, you know, they, these get rich quick schemes, they said, oh, you need to build a store on eBay. You'll make millions of dollars just like I did. But now I'm selling videos and not selling on eBay because everybody's selling on eBay. You see how that works. So they really conned every con artist in the world to create an eBay retail store. So honest private sellers like me who sell like, you know, we sell high quality used stuff we don't need anymore. We get buried in this avalanche of these amateur retail wannabe sellers who actually sell a lot of stuff at over retail prices. Yeah, you find a lot, you expect to find deals on eBay, but you look on eBay, you're gonna find, if you look at eBay and Amazon, two different windows, two different screens, you're gonna see prices on eBay will actually be higher than Amazon. And people still buy this stuff above retail from these no-name sellers. You really don't know if you're going to get it or not. You don't know who this guy is. But they're, you know, over... They're praying for shipping, too, in a lot of cases. And there's a lot of free shipping and all that. Blah, 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 blah. But, again, I digress. Now, there still are a lot of really good people who sell on eBay, including myself. But, again, you're going to find a lot of these fly-by-night retailers with little what? Little to no accountability. You don't know who you're buying from. You don't know if you're buying legitimate products or ripoffs or fraudulent sellers. I mean, again, there's still a lot of really good sellers on eBay, but they're becoming more and more hard to find. So I've kind of moved away from eBay for the time being, hoping they're going to return to greatness real soon. They've implemented some new payment programs, and hopefully that'll get rid of some of the fraudulence. You have to put some ID and all this fun stuff, so we'll keep an eye on that. But here's the thing, Amazon now kind of does the same thing that ebay started to do right they've got these well they've been doing this for a while third-party sellers so in a nutshell too long didn't read basically anyone can sell anything on e on amazon now that's right on amazon you do the same thing on amazon you can do on ebay so thousands of sellers are on amazon selling the same stuff some of the big companies including amazon are selling so vetting all of these vendors is slow to impossible there are tons of knockoffs, there's tons of counterfeit brands, and there's tons of stuff that just doesn't live up to your expectations. They're not really sending you what you advertise. And I saw that with the Halloween stuff. They have these projector pumpkins, these things that project on pumpkins, and they put these three pumpkins together and they supposedly sing together, but it turned out that was a huge ripoff. There was this robot toy they had out there that they showed this video, the CGI video some guy made, and they used that as a product demonstration. There you get the robot, it does nothing. And there's a, probably that shark. A lot of these stupid ads you probably saw on Facebook with this shark that smiles at you and does all this stuff, and people got it, and it just doesn't even move, and it's small, and it's... So, yeah, you're going to get... Uh, I understand your hesitation. A lot of people have hesitation about shopping online because you never know what you're really going to get. But the problem is these third-party sellers, you know, it's hard to vet them. There's so many of them, and it's happening so fast, and Amazon's having a hard time keeping up with them. They're trying. God bless them, but it's it's an uphill battle. So we've actually run into a problem with some of these third-party sellers. Um, well, they had a little bit of fun with our credit cards, our American Express, uh, causing a fraud situation where they went shopping with our American Express card, bought a whole bunch of stuff, and shipped it to other people. And uh, so we had to get new credit card numbers and all this stuff. So it was actually so bad with one of our American Express accounts. For some bizarre reason... They kept refusing to decline our unauthorized charges. American Express stopped doing this. They wouldn't, they wouldn't decline our unauthorized charges. Like, well, you ordered from Amazon before. How do we know it wasn't you? Well, it wasn't us, dumbass. I didn't order this thing. I didn't want it. We had to close the account, actually. That wasn't fun. And I'll never get those two to four hours of my life back. But anyway, 
and not that's not saying all third party. We'll talk about that in a second. Third party, but stick stick around. This is good stuff. So I'm sure you've heard that many of the reviews that you read. We talked about Amazon having your re reviews online on every product, just about every product, and that's a great idea. But I'm sure you've heard in the news there's a lot of fake reviews going out there, written by people who either own these small third parties companies or their friends or they pay people to do it. Eventually, the bad players get caught and the reviews get taken down, but that takes a while. And by the time they figure out what's going on, you they may have taken off with a few of your hard-earned dollars. So, to be honest, it's, it's not difficult to spot the fake reviews. I mean, you look for short, poorly worded reviews. Hey, five stars, this is great. You know, discount that, throw that away. You got to kind of read them and weed through them. And a lot of them you'll see really bad English where they actually try to write a little product experience, which is obviously something written by the manufacturer, some kind of canned response. So you can't always tell by the stars. A lot of people say, just discount all the five-star reviews and all the one-star reviews and just read everything in between. That's not always true either because I write five-star reviews when and if you deserve a five-star review. And a lot of stuff I write about is five because I do my homework and I read the other reviews before I buy it. And I take it, try it. And the stuff I return, I, well, you know, I'll let you know why I returned it. Now, paid reviewers are actually being paid to write four-star reviews now. So that people who are discounting the five-star reviews will now look at their fake four-star reviews. And four-star is pr still pretty good. I mean, you're going to buy something if it's four or five stars, right? And they know this. So, uh, yeah. I mean, just use spend a little bit of time. Use some common sense and some critical thinking. You'll be able to dig through the real ones and the legit ones. All right. So... The other thing is Amazon's very generous return policy. Very, very liberal, easy return policy may not apply to some of the shady third-party vendors. So that stinks too. So you really need to look carefully if you do shop at the third-party people. And that's not always a bad thing to do that. But we'll talk about that in a second. All right, so here's the scoop. So basically what we try to do is try to always buy items directly from Amazon.com. So Amazon's listed as the seller. And also they fulfill it too. So one, two shot. It's in their warehouse. They're selling it. They're processing the payments. I don't have to worry about any funny business. I don't have to worry about the uh, return policy because I know it's a great return policy. So yeah, if you can buy from Amazon directly, do that. Your stuff's more likely to be legit. It's likely to be vetted. It'll ship quickly and it'll qualify for free two-day prime shipping if you do that kind of thing. Now, you can tell when a product is sold and fulfilled by Amazon. Here's how to do that. This basically means that Amazon stores it in their warehouses, meaning they're going to ship it when they tell you they're going to ship it. It's going to ship quickly. If some other knucklehead at some third-party seller or fulfiller is fulfilling your order, you could end up waiting weeks, waiting weeks, and you know you never know if you're going to get it, when you're going to get it, blah, 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 blah. So you can see here where something is sold by and fulfilled by Amazon. A lot of times you'll see one or the other, usually sold by a separate company and fulfilled by Amazon, which means they ship their stuff to Amazon's warehouse. Amazon takes care of the fulfillment, so that's nice, fast, and easy. But when you do that, when you order from the third-party company, uh, well, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's get to that. So there is a way to see only items that are sold by and fulfilled by Amazon. You can actually filter your search results. And this will cut out a lot of the weirdos and con artists. So the items are going to be a little bit better vetted, so you probably get what you expected and have an easier time returning it if you need to do that. You can click on the department, and on the left-hand side here, you're going to see uh, sold by Amazon. You'll be able to see a list there. If you don't see Amazon as a seller, you can hit the See More button. It should bring up this big, long, sometimes really crazy alphabetical page of all the sellers who sell their particular product. If you don't see Amazon as one of the sellers, uh, immediately, it probably will show up in the list. Sometimes it doesn't, but, uh, you know, fortunately, Amazon begins with A, so it's going to be right towards the top. And you got to watch out for some other companies that pretend to be Amazon that aren't Amazon. Sometimes they use Amazon in their name, and they're not really Amazon. I think Amazon's learned to flag a lot of that stuff, but a few may squeeze through. And there's also this thing called Amazon Warehouse that only sells used and refurbished items. So if you're not in the market for those kind of deals, you probably want to stay away from the Amazon Warehouse as well. And a lot of people like that. That's cool. I mean, you save a few bucks here and there. All right, so if you can't find something you want sold and shipped directly from Amazon, there are some pretty good and trustworthy third-party sellers. And we just said beware of the third-party sellers, and I totally stand behind that. You should beware of the third-party sellers. But there's some really legitimate, good third-party sellers. They've spent the time and effort to build what? Accountability, right? And you can check the seller's rankings. Amazon's made it pretty easy to do that. 
And you can also see the return policies as well. So make sure you read those very carefully. You'll see tons of positive reviews, 10, 20, 90,000 positive reviews for some of these companies. And that'll tell you whether these guys are legit, if they're good kids or not. You can also Google the seller and check out their website too and get a little better feel about who they are, where they are, how they do things, what their return policies are. So if people are mad at the seller, you're probably going to see that in your Google search as well. So a few other pointers before we close up here. Never disclose your social security number or your bank account information to any online seller. Why? They don't need that. They will never need your social security number. Now, if you're applying for credit at a big name company, you're probably going to want to do that in person or over the phone and make sure you call them and they didn't call you because you never know who's calling you. So make sure you call their vetted number and there's a way to look up the legitimate numbers for that too. We have a video for that as well. Uh, so yeah, never give anybody your social security number, your bank account information. Really, if they start asking these weird questions, date of birth and your mom's maiden name, you really don't need to give them all that because you're just making a purchase, right? That's kind of ridiculous that they would need all that information. So use your head say, hey, I'm going to hang up. I'm going to try this again somebody else or somewhere else. So uh, yeah, no legitimate retailer will really ever need that level of information. They're probably trying to scam you for some kind of identity theft. And you don't want that. Believe me, it's not fun. Always buy with a credit card if you can. Because although our experience with American Express was more like American distress and we're no longer American Express customers, hint, hint, fraudulent transactions are usually covered and refunded. I have to tell you, we did get our money back from American Express after that little online or on phone battle, but uh, it was kind of a pain in the butt. It's more of a pain in the butt than it usually is because American Express used to psh, he used to dispute something and he used to go away like that and it was up to the retailer to prove it. Well, that apparently has changed. So just use a credit card and more likely than not, you're going to be covered in the event there's any monkey business going around. They'll send you a new card, a new number or whatever. And you won't be responsible for whatever these fraudulent people charge on your account. So that's a good thing too. Uh, also, if you're on like a big name website, it's possible that you're on a fake website a lot of people have been scammed you really need to look at target.com and some of the urls are so long it's hard to tell uh, but you never should leave the major players website to complete a transaction so if you're at target.com or walmart.com or amazon.com or best buy or whatever you should never have to leave that and go to some odd looking website to process your payment why? Because, well, big accountable companies have spent a lot of money and time and effort to integrate payments directly into their websites. Why? To keep you safe and to keep their reputations clean. That accountability goes a long way. It's so meaningful and so few people talk about it. And watch out for fake emails or even text messages like I got the other day. It might appear that they're coming from Amazon or someone else. I just got this thing that said my Amazon account was flagged or something, provided some bogus link. They wanted me to click on and put my information in there. They're probably going to ask for your, I didn't click on it, for your username and your password. And boom, they got in there. They can start sending all their friends and their grandma presents on your dime. That's not cool, right? So if you ever see anything like that, uh, in most, most cases, you can ignore it. If you're not sure, go to the website yourself and look it up or contact direct, uh, customer service directly on your own through the website or the phone number or some other meaning, meaningful way where you can contact them directly and for real. So, uh, yeah, if you're not sure, just contact them directly. Don't click on anything anybody sends you in a link because uh, nine out of ten times they're fraudulent. So with all these tips, you should be able to feel confident about shopping online safely and conveniently. We've been doing it for years. It really is an amazing experience. We've done our Christmas shopping online for more than 15 years now. Very rarely had any problems. And if we do, it's usually covered by the credit card companies or the company itself. The big name accountable companies are going to take care of you. Most of the ship, the shipments ship on time and they're pretty quickly and they get where they're going. Very, very rare for you to lose something in the mail. And if something's defective, they're going to replace it. These big accountable companies are going to do that. So, yeah, happy shopping. Really do it. Give it a shot. It's awesome. If you haven't done it, you're missing a whole world of awesomeness. Oh, and for great gift ideas, we have a, a sister company called SuchFunGifts.com. That's one of our properties. Totally safe because we're an Amazon affiliate. So everything you click on there goes directly to the Amazon site. And we've spent a lot of time picking only products that are sold and fulfilled directly by Amazon. So your payments are safe, your fulfillment will be quick, and uh, your products will be legitimate too. So SuchFunGifts.com. We'll put the link below. Thanks again. My name's Chuck Fresh, and we'll see you all next time.